Now, two groups of teenagers led police on two separate chases across the Gold Coast overnight. Live to Bianca Stone in our bureau in Surface Paradise, Bianca, the youngest, was just 14. That's right, Bill. He was a passenger in a car that police say was being driven by a 17-year-old who was high on drugs. The car sideswiped a police vehicle, went through red lights and across a front yard before being pinned into a concrete barrier by police. The dangerous chase was all caught on camera. Driving dangerously... At high speed, through Southport Narang, then to Upper Coomera, where police thought they'd cornered the stolen Mazda 3. An officer ran at the vehicle as the driver made his escape over a retaining wall. I was quite shocked to see that they jumped off a metre high and didn't roll it. An unmarked police car was sideswiped as the chase continued towards the M1. It was driving on three wheels. Road spikes had blown out the front passenger side tyre. A pursuit did uh, continue. It was only a low speed pursuit. The driver was trying to get back onto the M1 when police forced the car into a concrete barrier. One of the police vehicles had to uh, virtually merge towards the offender's vehicle. 17-year-old Xavier Manalove and his 14-year-old passenger were pulled from the vehicle. Both teenagers are now behind bars, charged with numerous driving and property offences. It is a concern, but not unexpected. You know, it's probably one of those things now on the Gold Coast and probably more so through south-east Queensland that a majority of our property offenders are uh, teenagers. Less than an hour later, police were pursuing another stolen vehicle, this time in Merrimack. Polair found the car dumped in Cove Street. We're just sitting upstairs and sounded like uh, someone was running down the road on flat tyres. The dog squad tracked down a male and female. The driver, Callum Murphy, turned 17 just two weeks ago. He's now spending his first night in prison. On the Gold Coast, Bianca Stone, 7 News.